iOS 15 first beta has been released with a couple of new features, including the one I'm going to be talking about in this video. So as you know, there is this new focus feature that has been added to iOS 15, but to all other platforms like watchOS and everything is integrated. So here is in-depth look at how this feature actually works. So you can find it in the settings and in the control center on iOS 15. Like I said, it's not an iPhone specific feature, but it also works and has integration on the Mac OS, iPad OS, as well as the watch OS. But you can find it in the control center if you swipe to get it. Uh, you can see focus right there, but it also has its specific tab in the settings and it's right there above screen time. But let's talk about what it actually is. Technically, it's just an addition or more advanced way to think about do not disturb mode if you really think about it, but it's not bad actually. Some new things have been added to it. This new feature allows you to create multiple focus modes. As you can see, a couple of examples here are personal, sleep, and work, but you can do whatever you want with it. You can customize it and create your own modes. That is, for example, you can create your own fitness mode. That means that if you want to take a workout or do something, you don't want to be disturbed and can customize what happens when somebody tries to reach out to you. This will silence your notifications. You can pick any apps and people that you actually want to receive text messages and alerts from, and you can even uh, like schedule the time automatically. So it turns on, for example, every time, every morning at 7 a.m. So here in the settings, you can set it up very easily just by clicking on, for example, the personal or sleep. So you're going to go like this. It's going to give you some suggestions that all notifications will be silent and you're not going to miss out and important people can still access you. And if you click on next, then you can add all of the contacts you still want to receive notifications from. So this can be your family, spouse or some really important people. By the way, guys, if you're new on this channel and if you don't want to miss some other in-depth videos of iOS 15 and of individual features uh, instead of some uh, like broad views of the software, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos and future uploads. So here, add anyone you want, but you can also allow none. That means that nobody will have the access to it. Now, here's the time for the apps. So you can add whatever app you want, of course. Uh, just select whatever you want and hit the done. Now you can add, you can also have all of none as an option, but just allow some of the apps. Then some sleep suggestions, I guess not very important. So at the top you have the people and apps that are allowed and under it you have time sensitive notifications. That means that you will be able to allow people and apps to still notify you immediately even when you have focus turned on. This is for some important stuff. I guess you can turn it on if you really want to. The option underneath, uh, which says share focus status, is pretty much when somebody tries to contact you with iMessage and you have focus turned on, they will say that you have it enabled and they have the option to wait or to notify anyway in case it's something really important. So uh, the share option when it's turned on, other people know that you have focus turned on. The next options you have right there is the home screen and options. If you click on home screen, you can choose which home screen pages are going to be visible and which will not be visible. That means that if you have like games or some really distracting stuff on your home screen, you can simply disable or make the page hidden from the home screen so it doesn't distract you and you can focus. And there are some options underneath as well. That means um, delayed delivery is the first option. I would recommend you to have it turned on. That is for uh, the notifications. So you receive them, but they are not allowed. So um, in the list, they will, they will actually be delivered directly to the notification center until it is turned off. That means that once you stop focusing, once you turn off the focus mode, you will still see the notification that you have received throughout the time. And hide notification badges. This is also kind of important and kind of interesting actually. That is that if you have an app on the home screen and it has a badge on it telling you that there is stuff inside it that you haven't checked, like an email or something, you can turn it off so even this doesn't distract you from your focus mode. 
So this is everything what there is in one sleep mode, for example, or one focus mode. However, you can set up another different things, like you can set up your new focus mode. You can have like custom for driving, gaming, reading, fitness. These are some predisposed or prepared options, but you can do whatever you want with it. For example, the driving one will give you some more um, options or, for example, when you start moving in a car, it will detect it. I mean, yeah, use the prepared ones if you want or just create your own one. In the main section of the focus, in the settings, you can see focus status. And if you tap on it, there is all a reply option. That is, for example, you set up a message, something like, I'm reading right now, do not disturb me, I will talk to you later. And every time somebody tries to contact you, you they will get the message from you automatically. That is like an auto response. As of right now, I'm not completely sure if it only applies to iMessage or if it's like universal, for, like what happens if somebody tries to contact you with the Instagram DMs. I have no idea what's going to happen. Perhaps nobody even knows right now, but we're definitely going to have to wait and see. I definitely believe developers will, ha will have access to it. And there are also phone calls. That is, um, allow repeated calls is when somebody tries to contact you multiple times uh, within uh, three minutes, then the phone call is not going to be silenced. This is most likely for emergency situations. So this is kind of a nice option to have turned on. And you can also choose from which per persons you will get uh, the uh, notifications, I mean phone calls. So everyone favorites, no one or a group of contacts. This here probably applies to all of the modes within the focus app, because as you know, within some focus uh, modes, we created and chose some people that we want to have access from. And um, but if you go and generally go ahead and add people or allow phone calls, that is for all of the focus modes. When it comes to Siri support, as of right now, iOS 15 doesn't allow you to do that, but we are still in the first beta, so it's definitely expected that the support is going to be there, but as of right now, we do not have it. And also, you can automate and schedule, just like I was talking about it, most likely for the sleep um, is a good idea or for workout, so you manually choose when the focus mode it is supposed to start and it's going to happen by it on its own and you don't have to like worry about anything. So this would be it. I mean, this is kind of a nice feature. I wanted to show you how it works because uh, the beta has just been released a couple of days back. So here is everything what you need to know about it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video if you like it and have some thoughts you want to share. And you know what you're supposed to do, simply write a comment down below and I will try to read it, perhaps reply. So thanks a lot for watching your support and see you guys later in the next video. Peace out, guys.